here we are. It's Friday. It's time to wind down from the week. Bring some of that work stress out and leave it behind so we can head into the weekend feeling hopefully a little more relaxed. So let's get started. Okay. Get myself situated. Standing tall, let's just inhale. We're gonna bring our shoulders to our ears. <sighs> Exhale, let them drop. Inhaling shoulders to ears. You can even make a face. <sighs> Exhale, release, let it go. One more time. Give it all a little shake out. Then clench up those fists. Tighten the arms. Relax. You can do that a few times. One more. Yeah, I got to go. <sighs> Give it a little shake out. Let's start with a little shake. Let's just shake the wrist, the elbow. Let your arm be loose. Just shake. Let it get into the shoulder. Move it all around. And we'll take stepping forward with our left foot. We got our right hand here. Just figure eight with that arm. Or you can just swing it back and forth. Around. Whatever feels comfortable for you to do right now. There are no rules other than doing what feels right for you. Most important thing. Bring it back to center, another little shake out. And let's get the other side. Keep it kind of loose. Let it come up into the shoulder. Okay, my left side doesn't work the same as my right. Of course, that's okay. Shake it all around fast. Slow, and then we do our nice rhythmic meditative rocking figure eights. Eight circles. And bring it back to center. Then we're going to inhale, bring the arms back, lift the chest towards the ceiling. Not arching the back, don't stick the butt out. Keep it solid there. And then exhale, closing, rounding through our upper thoracic spine. Inhale, opening and lifting. And on the exhale, closing. Moving with the breath. And bring it back to center. And with your feet about hip width apart, 
We're going to inhale, palms up to the shoulder level, coming up on your toes, exhaling, bringing it back down. Nice and controlled going up. And nice and controlled, especially when we're going back down. If you drop down a couple times, that's okay. It happens. Let's get right back into it. One more. And we'll separate the feet a little bit. Hip width, maybe a little bit outside of the hips. And we're gonna, as you inhale, we press the hips back, coming into our squat. Exhale, coming up, lengthening, and then back down. Keep your head and chest up as we're squatting down. You don't wanna be falling forward. That's not the movement we are working at this time. One more time on each side. And bring it back to center. While we're here, let's take our arm, bring it across the chest. We don't want to pull our arm and take our whole shoulder with us. Keep the shoulder pulled back. Keep the shoulder blade pulled back. Release and switch to the other side. Keep the shoulder down. You might have a tendency to want to inch it up, or it might be there and you don't even know it. Let it be down. Beautiful. And release. And then in our widened stance, maybe make it a little bit wider. Palms in front, inhaling, rotating to the side. Exhale, bring it back to center. Keep the pelvis locked in place. Don't let your hips move with you as you rotate. It's tempting, especially for really tight our thoracic spine we don't have that mobility there our hips and lumbar spine will compensate and try to pick up some slack in that movement we don't want them to do that it's not what they're supposed to do One more time to each side. Mm 
I'm gonna bring it down. Then we'll add a little more movement to it. I'm gonna turn my right foot out, press my left arm forward, right arm back. If it's not comfortable to press the right arm back, you just keep it to your side. And we switch the feet and go the other way. Nice and slow. Inhaling as we transition, and exhaling as we're pressing. One more time, each side. And bringing it back to center. We'll widen our stance, or keep our widened stance. Toes pointed out a little bit. Let's bring our elbows into our sides. We're going to send the hips back, let the knees come back, and press up. You don't have to go down very far. Do what's comfortable. What feels appropriate for your body right now? Just want to make sure it's hips first and then the knees. And you have pain in your squat and you say, My knees hurt. Want to make sure that we're using our hip, we're flexing at the hips, we're using those hips first, engaging the glutes. Not letting the force fall into our knees. Let's get two more. Bring the hands to the hips, level out the heels and toes. Spin those elbows back. Inhale, lifting and honor. Exhale, nice hinge. You can soften the knees as you come down. Adjust your stance if you need to. Every time you exhale, let that tension out of the body. Feel the tension release and maybe you notice you stretch a little bit more. You can relax a little bit more. Place our right hand on our low back, lumbar spine, left hand right on our sacral. Reaching across with that right ankle. Bring it back to center, switch, left hand on the sacrum, right arm reaches across. Back to center, reset, 
Let's do each side one more time. Right hand on the sacrum, left hand reaches for the right ankle, or shin, wherever you can reach. That was helpful. Back to center, and to the other side. Return to center. Soften the knees a little bit if it's comfortable for you. Hands back on the hips, elbows back, leading with the chest as you come back up. And we're going to sink into our right hip, so send that hip back. Just keep your, place your forearm on that thigh. Just raise that left arm up. Kind of like side angle pose in yoga, but not fully there. And you can sneak it over the other side. You can adjust your feet if you need to. And let's take it back. One more time to our left. And back up to center. We'll bring our feet back together. I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing. Put some pads. Feet together or slightly wider if that's more comfortable for you. Inhale the arms up. And on the exhale, swing them to the sides and hinge forward so we get this nice lengthened spine. Inhale, hinge back up. And we'll hinge again. And on the inhale, this time bring the arms forward, whether it's Directly out at your sides or overhead. And exhale, pressing back. So do what's comfortable. This requires a good deal of core and lower back activation. It's a good stretch and strength on the hamstrings. One more time. Inhale, just hinge right back up. Shake out. Inhale the arms up again. And then we'll exhale, full dive all the way down. And you're going to bend your knees so that your torso rests on your thighs. Let yourself relax there. Let the neck relax. You can rotate the chin a little if you'd like. Relax your jaw. Gently straighten the knees. And from here, nice and slowly, one vertebrae at a time, we're going to roll it back up. Right, then we'll 
step out of wide stance again. Right foot painting, pointing directly forward. We're not painting anything, but maybe you want to paint. Left foot turned in a little bit. We can start with our hands on our hips. We dip forward, send that left hip back. And as we're doing that, we're rotating our chest upwards, spiraling those right side ribs and lung up towards the ceiling. Release your hand. You can place it on your shin, your foot, your ankle, a block, the floor, whatever you reach can reach to comfortably. It's not about pushing yourselves to anything here. And you can turn your head up if it's not comfortable. And you can keep your head turned down or facing directly forward. There's space for everybody. Gently come back up, swish our feet, hands back on the hips. We can start to dip to the other side, spiraling our left ribs up. Gently coming back up. Let's do each side one more time. And our nice gentle dipping down. We'll come out of it. If your back is sensitive, it's easier. You can bend the knee and use that to help you come up. That's an option too, of course. Hands on the hips. Coming to our other side. And bring it back up to center. And now we're going to take it to the floor. If you have a little something, a little extra cushion for your knee, now would be a good time to get it. If you don't have it, you might not need it, but we'll have it start. I'm going to start with my left knee down. My right one is forward. Bring the hands into the heart center. Inhale, lengthening. As I exhale, maintaining that length as I rotate to the side. Left elbow on the outside of my right knee. Palms pressed together. And I'm actually pressing into my knee. And my knee is pressing into my elbow. So that enhances the activation of our glutes, but also the stretch that they get. And of course, we're getting a nice rotational stretch for our spine. Back to center. Hands down. We're going to sit back a little bit if it's comfortable, straightening out that knee. You can wiggle your toes around. Around a little bit if you want to. Bring it back up. Hands to the heart center. Let's 
do our twist again. Back to center, hands down, walking it back, bending that knee as much as is comfortable. And then flat switch. All right, walk tall, hands to the heart center. Inhale, lifting and lengthening. Exhale, coming into our twist. Right elbow, the outside of the left knee. Back to center, hands down, sit the hips back, extending the knee, move that foot, those toes around a little. Walk it back, bring it back up, inside center, inhale, and exhale into our twist. Release, back to our center, sitting those hips back. And bring it back. Then we're going to take it to seated. Slide that out. Legs comfortably. Cross in front of you, let's be up tall, place our left hand out to the side, we might reach with it as we do this, reaching with our right hand, keep your right pelvis, your right butt down on your mat, down on the floor, if you're really tight, it's going to have a tendency to want to lift up, don't let it lift up, we're going to use our really good stretch. It might take some practice to figure it out if, if that's what happens, and that's okay. Okay. Let's bring it on the other side. The other one again, we'll do each side one more time. And get it on our left. And back to center, tall, place the right hand behind you, the base of the spine, inhale that left one up, and on the exhale it comes down on the outside of the right knee as we rotate our right shoulder back, we're not going over our right shoulder.
you bring it back to center. Left hand base of the spine. Inhale, the right one up. And exhale. Left knee rotate. The center, we'll do each side one more time. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, maintain that length as we go into our twist. Center, last one. Inhale and exhale. And back to center. And we'll move our shins forward a little bit so they're not tucked in too close to us so that they're essentially parallel to our body line or so that if you're on a mat, parallel to the front of your mat. And whichever one's forward doesn't matter because we're going to do both sides. Right now my left one is in front. And I'm just going to take, walk it forward, let the hips settle back. Kind of work yourself forward. Only as much as is comfortable. You shouldn't go to the point of pain with anything. If you get to that point, back off a little bit and stay where you're comfortable. Work from there. Bring it back up, switch your shins, settle yourself back down again, and come forward. Bring it back up, nice and tall, and drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Keep that left shoulder relaxed. Maintain an upright spine so we don't want to collapse to our right side. Up tall, left ear to left shoulder, pressing away with the right if it's comfortable. Bring it back up to center, right ear to the right shoulder, pressing down and away with the left, keep your jaw, let it be relaxed. Back to center and rotate the chin looking 
towards her over the right shoulder. Keep that left shoulder back. Don't let it follow. And over the left. Not letting the right shoulder follow. Back to center, then gently, as is comfortable, slowly drop your chin to your chest, making sure that you stay nice and upright and you don't do one of these. Up tall, just chin to the chest. You might even feel your shoulder blades engage and move back. And slowly, if it's comfortable, Rotate your chin side to side. Back to center. Gently bring it up and lift the chin just a little bit past level. Make sure that you're Thinking of lifting your head up from and away from the body. It helps even put your hands at this under your ears, edge of your jaw. Back to level. Let's bring those arms up on a nice big inhale. And exhale to the next one. And there's your week send. Wind down for this week. And next week, I'll see you live. We're going to do this live. We'll see how that goes. So until then, have a great weekend. Hope you feel wound down.